All right, what's up, y'all? fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, we're here to showcase every single attribute that is affected by every takeover in NBA 2K23. So, in today's video, what I'm essentially showcasing is going to be this, and we'll go position by position. But as you can see, the glass cleaner takeover is activated right now. And obviously, if you activate takeover in game, whether it's in the park or pro am, whatever the case may be, you're going to be getting attribute boost while you have that takeover on. So I'm here to showcase in today's video what you're getting for every single one of these takeovers. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you do, for to drop a like, sub, if you're new to them, noties, and you know. I'm getting some really good buzz right now as far as all the just 2K hype for 2K23 of uh, having it early. Also, shout out to 2K. They hooked me up with the full freaking game right now. I'm literally on 2K23 as we speak to test this. They gave me a code and everything to be able to play it like pretty much 10 hours early, essentially, in New Zealand time as well and all that stupid stuff. So anyway, I know this video will have some longevity as well. We'll have the hype from like early year and then we'll also have the longevity because this is something that is very useful information throughout the whole course of the year. So let's try and get this one to 5,000 likes. I know it's a pretty hefty, lofty goal, but we've been going crazy with this stuff and not to mention, like I said, it should be a pretty good longevity video as well. So. As far as how to show what the attributes are going to be getting boosted by, I want to show you guys, essentially, it's going to be sort of the same thing as it's been for the last two years. It's a it's a little bit of an easy to understand concept as far as the video goes, but essentially, I gave these builds 50 in every rating. So essentially, same way that it works every year, if it's getting boosted from 50 to 55, that means it's only getting boosted by 5. If it's getting boosted from 50 to 58, that means it's getting boosted by 8, and it's one of the primary things that that takeover boosts. So every single takeover will boost any attribute by at least 5, no matter what. Doesn't matter if it's slasher, sharp, shot, play, rim, glass, whatever the case may be, it'll boost any rating by 5. So no matter what you are, it's going to boost your driving dunk by 5. But for slashers and stuff like that, it's going to boost it by 8. So for instance, for glass cleaners, you're going to be getting boosted for close shot. You're also, I should mention, going to be getting obviously the rebounding boost. But for this, I had to give them a pretty solid rebound rating to be able to get their like glass takeover activated in the first place or to make sure that this build had glass takeover. So... I gave it 70 as far as that goes, but as you can see, if it ends in an eight, that means it's getting boosted by eight. If it ends in a five, that means it's getting boosted by five. It's as simple as that. So again, you're pretty much getting O board, close shot, D board, all that stuff right there. As you can see, you get strength and vertical for the glass cleaners as well. And that's pretty much it as far as that goes. All right, so next up is gonna be shot creator. With this one, you're getting driving layup boosted. You're gonna be getting nothing as far as the dunking goes or anything like that, but as you can see, mid-range and driving layup are listed on that page right there. You're also getting the shot IQ, which again, doesn't matter. You do get the ball handle boost, which is convenient. Obviously, if you're someone who's maybe on that KD build that I showed, having shot takeover will still be able to boost your ball control, which goes a long way. To be able to get a plus eight to your ball handle while on takeover, that is a huge, huge thing if you're gonna be having 80 ball handle. So that's that's a really big deal for sure. And then other than that, not really much being touched right here. So pretty much it's just ball control, mid range and driving layup as far as the shot creator goes. Now, if this is all like it has been in the past, I'm gonna let you guys know, slasher and lockdown go crazy as far as the ratings that are boosted. It's unreal insane how ridiculous it is also if you're wondering why i'm banging threes with everybody i turned the sliders up to 100 so i could actually hit shots it was extremely hard to get takeover i must add too like i don't know why it was so difficultly impossible <laughs> to be able to get takeover on but i had to score like 30 points as a team before shot creator of all people even popped up as the first person to get takeover but anyway on to the next one all right, so next up, as you can see in the corner, is going to be Lockdown Takeover. Like I mentioned, this one has always been ridiculous in the past. As you can see, it doesn't have anything offensively, obviously, so like no driving dunk or anything like that, if that's what you would have thought a lockdown potentially gets boosted. You can see you have perimeter defense and steal, so that's an obvious one. Lateral quickness is not something that's in the My Player Builder, but obviously it ties into perimeter defense to an extent, so just keep that in mind. Obviously, these also don't play any factor as far as your My Player goes either, but the physicals look really, really good. So it is the same thing as it has been in previous years. You have speed, acceleration, and strength. So the funny thing about acceleration, right? And I, this is what makes me wonder if like 2K has always just got this bugged and <laughs> it's been a problem. Acceleration in 2K22 next gen was strictly with the ball in your hand. So only as a ball handler. Now, <laughs> A lockdown of all things is getting an acceleration boost but not a vertical boost so really weird to me but honestly if you're maybe like a two-way player and you have lock takeover it's gonna be able to help you dribble the ball to an extent because of the acceleration boost so keep that in mind but other than that pretty much nothing else as you can see like I said physicals really good and then for perimeter defense lateral quickness all right so next up we're gonna have sharp as you're gonna see obviously nothing to do with the driving attributes but you obviously have the three-pointer and mid-range boost now I, I believe in the past 
that you do get a free throw boost, but in this one you actually don't, because as you can see it ends in a 5, so again, I put this rating 270 assuming that it would get boosted, but it didn't. So if it ends in a 5, it's not getting the extra boost for that takeover benefit. If it's ending in an 8, that means it is getting that takeover boost. So. Honestly, you really just get those two ratings. There's nothing else other than that. It's literally just mid-range and three-pointer. So obviously, sharp takeover as far as like what the ability does, extremely, extremely good. But as far as what it touches for your attributes, the only thing that's really worth anything is going to be three-pointer. And then kind of the subcategory is going to be that mid-range. So only two things boosted by sharp takeover. All right, so next up, we have playmaker and slasher popping up at the same time. I literally just assisted to the three-pointer on one of them. So we'll go ahead and just show them like in the same clip, essentially. So... As far as the playmaker, you're going to be getting driving layup as well. So that's, uh, and honestly, I should say too, driving layup seems to be something that a lot of people will just generically have boosted up because it, it's kind of forced up on your build, like in tied to a lot of different attributes. So definitely something to keep in mind for that. It's it's definitely going to be an okay boost. And I think honestly, with the fact that you can time your layups this year and that you're probably going to leave your like layup meter on. 100% I think could be a decent boost, honestly. But anyway, pass accuracy, ball handle, speed with ball, a very obvious trio right here. And really good one too. Like all three of these ratings are extreme, extremely important and extremely nice to have boosted just in general. Speed with ball and pass accuracy especially. Especially now that it's not just bullet passer as far as how fast you pass the ball. So now if, you're, if your pass accuracy is getting boosted on that playmaker takeover, people are really going to have to stay at home because that pass is going to get whipped to the corner like super, super fast. So... You have those, obviously pass IQ, pass vision, stuff like that doesn't exactly matter. So essentially, that's about all you have right there. As you can see, no physicals. So this is what I was kind of saying. It's, it's really funny how essentially, yes, you get speed with ball for a playmaking takeover, whereas with lockdown, <laughs> you get acceleration. So playmaker doesn't get acceleration, but lockdown does. It's kind of stupid. It's really not a good idea in my personal opinion, but it definitely benefits the lockdown takeover in that aspect. All right, so here's the thing, fellas. I, I ran into a little bit of a hitch right here, but it's a cool thing to showcase, so I will do it. As far as playmaking takeover goes, in next gen, there are three different things you can get. It's team ratings boost, team badge boost, and then team takeover boost. Now check this out. Honestly, it's it's a pretty cool thing to showcase. So as you can see, for shot creator now, I have 82 mid-range. It's being boosted up from literally 70 to 82, so 12 ratings. What that is because of is team ratings boost. For playmaking takeover in this blacktop mode, it has all three abilities equipped. So now it's screwing up my slasher takeover showcase because it's showing in, like ratings that aren't exactly shown. So I probably unfortunately have to come back to slasher real quick and without playmaking takeover activated, which means I'm going to have to get it all over again, which is going to be kind of annoying, but I'll just save it to the very end of the video for slasher takeover. We'll go ahead and showcase the other ones first and foremost. All right. So I just got to say, this looks really cool to have like all seven takeovers minus that one dude. I don't know which one it is. It looks like it's maybe playmaker or something like that. No, it's not play, but anyway. We have two more to show right here. It's going to be rim and post. So for rim takeover, it's once again going to get you close shot. It just, just honestly, most big man takeovers are going to give you close shot boost. So that it kind of just is what it is. Just keep that in mind. Even post takeover does some really interesting things. So interior defense is going to be getting that plus eight. Block will also be getting that plus eight. So it's a pretty straightforward takeover as far as what it boosts. As you can see, help defense, but who cares about that? As far as physicals, you're really not getting anything. As you can see, you don't get vert, you don't get like strength, you don't get speed, anything like that. So rim is a little bit of a, I would say a dut takeover as far as like, I mean, it's boosts aren't really cool because check this out. Post score, I want to bring you down all the way down to here real quick. <laughs> it's something that post has really always bugged me about. So into your defense, as you can see, is getting that plus eight. So post score of all things is getting into your defense at the same rate as rim protector. And really the only thing you're losing out on that rim protector gets that a post doesn't is going to be block rating. So for me, this has always bugged me because as a slasher, when I'm playing against post scores in the 1v1 court and they get their takeover, it boosts their into your defense to make them even better defenders against my slashing. But anyway, as far as the other boosts that you get for the post takeover, it's going to be close shot, as you can see, which is a given, obviously. You have post control, post fade, and post hook i said that in opposite orders but either way it is what it is the three post ratings you obviously have then like i said the close shot and the interior defense that is pretty much all the boosts that you're getting you as you see it's no physicals or anything like that so no speed excel strength vert anything like that so pretty straightforward all right now as you can see we have slasher activated on its own with no playmaking crazy boost so the playmaking boost does give you a plus four as you can see because when i had it activated it was 82 instead of 78 on all these ratings so playmaking does give you the plus four to your teammates if you have the team ratings boost so anyway 
as far as the takeover boost that you're gonna get for the slasher as you can see it's pretty souped bro it's crazy like you get a lot of different attributes it's by far the best one in the game as far as the ratings that do get boosted you can see it's driving layup standing dunk driving dunk close shot you get so many different things you get ball handle as well <laughs> as you can see so you also get speed with ball then you also get physicals as well so for instance you get speed acceleration and strength and vertical so all of these things listed right here are ridiculous i mean you got four right here so that's four you got obviously like i said all of the ball handling and speed with ball stuff so that's six you have four things right here between all of the finishings so that's 10 things that are boosted mind you sharp had two and then things like rim had three total or obviously glass had like three total as well ridiculous it's crazy so slash take definitely stay on the lookout for that honestly we all know slash takeover isn't quite as good as sharp takeover as far as the ability of it but it's just something to keep in mind it really does go a long way as far as all these ratings that get boosted not to mention the seven foot that i put you guys on to that oh this would be so crazy bro like i'm talking you get 93 driving dunk right and probably 90 standing dunk so if you're getting plus eights on all that, obviously you're getting to 99 driving dunk when you have takeover on and 98 standing dunk. And then you're getting your driving layup and, and close shot rating boosted as well that are very good if you're on that build as well. So honestly, ridiculous to be able to get slash takeover on that. And not to mention too that your speed is like 77. So if you get plus eight on that, you're looking at pretty much 85 speed on a seven footer when you have takeover on, which is unreal. Same with your vertical rating getting boosted by eight when you have 87 on that too. So that's 95 vertical. I mean, crazy souped up build if it can get slash takeover. Now that's the problem. I didn't set it up to where it can get slash takeover and I tried extremely hard. So I'm sure dudes like Elijah Wan and all them dudes who are super crazy with the takeover modifications and making it happen will go really crazy. I want to show you one thing real quick in comparison because I feel like there were a couple of situations that maybe got switched around. I want to I want to test this because I don't remember if Slasher last year had all four things boosted between speed, excel, strength, and vert. So I'm going to pull up the 2K22 modifications real quick because I actually made a very quick flow chart, so to say, last year to kind of simplify. Fight. all right so i was kind of bugging on what you get with the slasher because obviously as you can see you still get everything listed but this is very interesting glass seems to have taken strength and vertical off because as far as i remember it was only o board and d board and then close shot maybe correct me if i'm wrong maybe i read that wrong it's possible but as you can see like last year like i said interior d was still a thing with the post hook control fade and close shot so that's all the same thing for the post score again sharp just had three point mid shot with the mid ball handle and driving layup most of this stuff does seem to be the exact same now i like the same thing here you get ball handle speed with ball pass accuracy driving layup lock prim d steel speed excel strength so everything seems to be pretty much the exact same i don't recall though if glass cleaner had strength invert maybe i'm just tripping and maybe i read it wrong <laughs> it's possible but anyway that's all for video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, feel to drop a like, sub if you're new, some noties, all that good stuff. Like I said in the intro, let's try this one to 5,000 likes total. And I know for some people who this is like recurring information and you, you're probably like, Lake, why am I watching this video? You've made it like three times and they haven't changed it. I obviously wanted to be able to showcase to people that maybe are newer to the channel or newer to this type of content that this is still something that they would like to see as well. So obviously, as you guys can see, this is pretty much your guide right here at the end of the video to be able to see every single thing in a quick two seconds. So anyway, that's all for video. Hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, if you did, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on the notice. If you made it to the end of the video, put take in the comments or take over in the comments. Show supports made all the way through. Uh, next up on the queue. So obviously we just dropped the Pro-Am meta video right before this one. I'm assuming I'm posting this right after. And then maybe I'll continue the triple upload spree. I don't know. I'm maybe going to cut it back to, I don't know. I know a lot of y'all really want that seven footer like revised. So I'm going to try and lab it really, really hard. And maybe I can get it out in time for like midday today or tonight, something like that. Assuming this video goes up on the 8th, I believe. Yeah. So Honestly, it's possible that I can maybe make that seven footer revision and get the video up in the same day. Don't count on it, but it's possible. Anyway, that's all for the video. Hope you all enjoyed. And on that, take these man, peace.